Okay, we are back. Let me listen to the opening. I'm, I'm gonna close my eyes once again. When it happens. It's been a hot minute since I've played the game. Yeah, my eyes are closed. Oh, this part is so good. Man, that's such a good opening. That's such a good song. I'm such a big fan. I also heard um, in the lyrics they uh, sung the word Maria, but I think that might be referring to um, the Virgin Mary or uh, Maria Sama. Whatever. Uh, from religion. Uh, yeah, let's load. Oh, actually, let me... Lower than my end. Yeah. Seventh uh, <laughs> of May, and it's currently the twenty fifth. Yeah, sorry, I had some IRL troubles. It shouldn't be anything for um the YouTube audience, but uh, for those in early access, I'm so sorry. Okay, prophecy, uh, second twilight sentence here. The two who are close, and it's getting late. Oh boy. The uncomfortable atmosphere continued even after those two left. It was thick with the idea that thinking about who the killer was should be the same as deciding who to doubt. It had begun to feel like discussion of the incidents was itself taboo. So no one was mentioning it, at least out loud. However, those thoughts were what filled our minds. All that we couldn't say, all that we couldn't say aloud made our heads feel like they were going to explode. Fair enough, you know. So, at least on the outside, the parlor had once again regained its calm mood. Though everything was left unsettled. <coughs> the second calm before the storm. Yeah? Oh. Yeah. I wonder if we're gonna ever find a boat where we can take it outside of this island. Maybe during one of the uh, late later episodes. Mm. Mm. 
船はいつ来るのかな本来なら帰りの船は今日の三時に来てくれることになっていました。Okay. Um, so, uh, 15 plus hour, five, uh, yeah, 20 more hours. Right, it's currently, uh, oops, not that. Uh, what's the button again? That. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, right, they'll obviously send someone to look if there's no response from here. k a k i n no k a t a g a t a no s o n g e m o k t e k i d a t o s i e t a r i m a s k a r a o s r a k a s n o a s a i c h i b a n d e Okay, fair enough. That's way sooner than hopefully. <clears throat> it was completely black outside. When I looked at the clock, I realized it was just past seven. I was starting to get hungry. In the kitchen, Kumasawa was cooking enthusiastically. He had laid out a variety of dishes, and while they didn't match the level of Goda's artful cooking, they were still quite gorgeous. It was an act of kindness from Kumasawa, trying to use food to enliven everyone's low spirits. Kumasawa wasn't nearly as talented as a professional cook like Goda, but she was far from unskilled, yeah. Never, never doubt the、uh, cooking skills of a grandma. They have, they have the experience. On the contrary, since she had been brought up in a fishing village, the simple food she created was sometimes very highly valued. Right?、Um, let me see one thing the epitaph. Um, downstream village. Hmm, village, fishing village, downstream fishes. Hmm, I'm probably looking too much into, into it, and this is just to flesh out、uh, her character more, but you know, yeah. It might be something. Hanan arranged the food Kumasawa had finished creating on plates、uh, under her direction. Hanan also, also helped in the kitchen sometimes, but since he was rarely placed in that role, he was slightly awkward, even though he tried his best. Self conscious about the fact that He couldn't skillfully arrange the food. Hanon's expression darkened slightly. <laughs> oh no. But Kumasawa smiled to say everything was fine. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. Mm, of course, the, every little comment. At this point, would bring up the、uh, the dead in their minds. Yeah. Hanon stopped arranging the food for a bit and hung his head. Shannon was the one who always assisted Kumasawa in her cooking. Tonight, Hanon was doing it instead. And as he remembered Shannon's face, And her brutal end. He grimaced. Yeah. Minute, minute darkness. Genji spoke kindly to Kanon as he advanced a pawn. They're playing chess or、uh, go or. No, not go up.、Uh, but Shogi. Nanjo had escaped from the parlor once the mood had become sour. And Genji had become his opponent in a game of chess upon Nanjo's request. Hi.、Mm. Yeah. 
even even if it's something you can't get out of your mind it's it does no good to bring that kind of stuff up constantly like obviously you need to discuss it out but yeah it's it's a bit dreary if you just constantly talk about it it will affect others too mm. good change my goat Genji purpose purposefully faced away from Kanon as he spoke. He did so because he understood that it might make things tougher on Kanon if he noticed that someone was looking at his eyes. Hmm. Nanjo also understood that and held back any thoughtless words. Yeah. We, we have experienced adults here. Mm. That is something that, I don't know, maybe their servants here might have some idea about. Mm. おやかたさまにお使いする家具には過ぎたことです。ベ、現地さんは怖くないのですか。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
Could it be that Genji was calm because he believed that he was alone outside the chessboard and safe? Uh, no, it's because he has surrendered to his fate. Nanjo thought about it. Everyone just a piece on this chessboard, lined up equally without any expect exceptions. Was it even Genji who had gained more of Kinzo's trust? More of Kinzo's trust than anyone? No, was it Nanjo himself? Although proud of his position as Kinzo's only close friend, just another one of the pieces laid out on the chessboard? Yeah. Genji san. Yeah, you are a prime candidate um, for dying. <laughs> the guest room that Eva and Hideyoshi had moved into was used to house guests before the guest house had been constructed. Mm -hmm. So, until a few years ago, they had stayed in this room every family conference and were very familiar with it. This room, just like a room at a hotel, had a bedroom and a bathroom. So, even though they were still shut in, it was far more comfortable than the parlor. Yeah, ほかのみんなも客室に<笑> From your point of view, yeah, but from her point of view, it's because she finally got that uh, recognition and uh, is acting out based on that loyalty. <laughs> I love how typical of a villain, petty villain, villainess she is. Ma, so you na. なつきさんもあれで結構頑張っとるんやで。お前もそう突っかからんでもええやないか。さっきのレシートの件もあそこまでは言い過ぎやで。だ、だ。あそこで言わなかったらもう言うタイミングがないんだもん。sat down beside Hideyoshi, who was lying on the bed watching TV. Oh, interesting. でも、こうして二人きりになるのは随分久しぶりよね。そうやな。思えば、わしもお前も老けたもんや。ジョージが生まれてから、なんもかもが。Kind of cute seeing uh, this kind of scene between them. Mm, were you two? I guess it was due to a uh, 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 Kraus and uh, Natsuhi not being able to make a child really fast, so yeah. Eva's eyes looked like they were staring off into the distance. Yes, she had thought it a once-in-a-lifetime chance. Hmm. Her older brother, Kraus, had been unable to have a child for quite some time. Six years passed after his marriage to Natsuhi without any signs of pregnancy, which didn't please Kinzo at all. Oh. 
As for Ava herself, she would be removed from the Ushurumiya register anyway once she got married, so whether a successor to Head was born or not, it was all the same to her. So she had thought. But then, one day, she had a heavenly revelation. Or maybe it was the whisperings of the devil that she had heard in her greed. Perhaps she could remain in the Ushurumiya register if she gave birth to a successor first. If things went well, perhaps she could even inherit the Ushurumiya family herself. When she proposed this idea to Hideyoshi, uh, when she proposed this to Hideyoshi, he approved, fi approved of it instantly. This had not been because Hideyoshi also had greedy thoughts. Was Hideyoshi just being a loving husband or... For Hideyoshi, who had no close relatives, it was a chance for him to feel once more that long forgotten thing called family. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, sorry. So he agreed without hesitation not to fuss over which family name they were to keep upon getting married and sent it to having his... Fuck, sorry. Sent it to having his name entered into the Ushurumiya family register. It wasn't easy to persuade Kinzo, but as his daughter, Ava knew Kinzo's personality well. So she chose the time when Kinzo was most dissatisfied with Natsuhi <clears throat> and expertly managed to make him accept Hideyoshi as a son-in-law. Looking at Hideyoshi, who had achieved success after starting from nothing, Kinzo might have seen a little bit of himself. He quickly grew to like Hideyoshi and permitted him to transfer into the Ushirumiya register. George would eventually become the successor to the Ushirumiya family. They had raised him strictly with that purpose in mind. He turned out super well despite the uh, strict up upbringing. George had been worth their while and had grown into a fabulous young man who wouldn't disappoint no matter where he went. That was why she couldn't stand that he was in love with a servant like Shannon. Mm. So, when she had learned that Shannon had died and the engagement had been invalidated, while part of her had been shocked at the gruesome crime, another part of her had been relieved that her precious George wouldn't be stolen by some servant girl. Oof. Damn. やめよ。私クラウスうん。でも、それは子供の頃の感情なのよ。でもその感情は結局自分の人生のほとんどを支配した。うん。それだけならまだいい。その感情はあなたやジョージまで巻き込んで振り回してしまった。エヴァ、備え自分を責めるな。Hideyoshi sat up and put his arm around Eva. She could feel a warm understanding from him. Mm. Did we also hear seagulls in the background just now? Seagulls mean something, I'm telling you. That's very cute. 
もう一度家族のぬくもりを教えてくれただから後の宮の家には感謝しとるしわしの唯一の家だと思っとるわしとお前が歩んできた人生にな無駄なことなんかなんにもなかった今日までほんまに楽しい人生やったで、ね、That's sweet Also, this conversation is. I'm not sure if it's a red herring, but it's very obviously trying to make us think that these two are getting now the scene to show us that they are very close, which makes us think that they are the next ones chosen to be torn apart. Arigato, Anata. Aww. Ava hung her head. Burying her face in Hideyoshi's chest. Man, I wasn't expecting that. Probably no one in the parlor could even imagine that this side of Ava existed. Yeah. I'm very surprised and uh. Big plus points to her for showing her actual vulnerable side. <laughs> Mm. Man, they're laying it so thick. It's still a sweet scene. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to disregard it. I'm very much basking in it. Rain is picking up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Hideyoshi. You go. Yeah, yo. Maitoshi. Nenga だまってしたのお年玉くじだけチェックするんや。今年はカラーテレビくらい当てたいで。やだ。モルジブでお年玉くじのチェックなんてしたくない。じゃあ、そいつもなしや。水いらず、のんびりで、ジョージが生まれる
care about a lot of these characters already. So I don't really know who I would uh, quote unquote prefer to die over. Or I guess in, in, in the half uh, of this case, I'll be torn apart over rather than Ava uh, and Hideyoshi. <clears throat> there was a knock on the door, and Genji san entered. Oksama, Oyushokno Jimmy got Totono Imashita. Osokujiwa, Mata Kochira de Yoroshi Deska. Eh, Kokoe Hakobasana, sir. Yeah, Nanjo says, Seva, Mada Chubo Nidino Deska. Yeah, he's there because, you know, he's the doctor, so he can. Use his drugs to poison the food while none of you suspect him at all. Hi. Tsugino itte o jukko shitai to oshatte oorimasu. Go anshin wo. Hoka no shio nin tachi to go issho desu. Don't worry about him. Genji san wa ji sama no aite ga dekiru kurai chess ga tsuyoi mon na. Nanjo sensei yori mo tsuyoi rashi ze. Hmm. So nanda. Yeah, I mean, hey, Genji is just the goat. Mukashi, I tell Stemorata Kotonga Arkado. Arewa Kotosete Kuretanokana. Yes. Then again, you are probably the smartest person here. And maybe apart from, uh, I still don't know very much about uh, Beatrice, but Beatrice might be very smart. I mean, they are a witch and an alchemist and, uh, yeah. But book smarts wise, you are probably number one. Maria, oh, so good, Mesta Soda, eh? Scassi, Yoku, it's in Jiju Terebi or Mita, Akine, eh? Hmm. Oh! It's interesting that they cut out. Well, I don't know. Never mind. I was gonna say that it's interesting that they cut out the, uh, phone wires, but they didn't cut out the television wires. But, uh, I guess you can't really do much with television. Except, I guess, they can get information from the TV if there are news. Like, uh, in Ava Senhideshi's room, there was the TV announcer, probably, talking about other stuff. Other stuff. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this game came before. 20, I don't know, 2010s, 2020s, but uh, she do be the one generation before iPad kids. My god. <clears throat> or I guess this is in the uh, 80s, so uh, two generations before uh, iPad kids. Uh, it was still cluttered with the aftermath of the drawing contest we had all been having, using several pages of torn out of Maria's notebook. Yeah. Jessica began cleaning that up quickly. Phil, everyone here sure can draw. Can you now? That's interesting because I know one thing that requires drawing skills, that being magic circles. Interesting. Really shocking. Yeah. Genji. Oh, I just heard some down something dropping. I don't know if it's, uh, maybe from the apartment above me. Uh, yeah. What's up, Natsuhi? Eva san tachi ni mo semete shokuji kura ishou ni shinai ka to okoi o kake nasa. Dousei kotowaru de shou ga. And she gets close to the door and just hears some moaning and uh, like, well, fuck, what do I do in this situation? Mm. Man, she looks so tired and stressed out always. I feel so bad for her. Natsuhi felt her headache start throbbing again and lightly held her temples. <clears throat> the 
wind. The distance from the kitchen to the parlor wasn't that large, so Genji had gone there and back by himself, but the guest room was a little farther away. Natsuhi had warned him not to be alone without good reason. And just now, Nanjo had also admonished him, saying that it would be better if he held a little more concern for his safety. Mm. Genji took Kanon with him, and the two of them went to visit Eiwa and Hideyoshi in their guest room. Okay. Genji knocked on the door. Eiwa-sama, Hideyoshi-sama, no jinbi ga totonoimashita. It, it's some, I mean, the, this setup and the wind makes me feel that like uh, something already happened to them. Surely not. Surely it will happen during the night. He waited for a short while for them to come out, but there was no response. Genji <clears throat> uh oh. Kanon pointed under the door. Oh. Okay. A western style envelope had been inserted under it. Normally, when something was inserted this way, it would be interpreted uh, interpreted as a message from someone outside, someone in the room. So, since this might be a private note meant for Eva and Hideyoshi, it was not something that Kanon and Genji were supposed to take interest in. But given the circumstances, <clears throat> but this Western style envelope, yeah. Also, Kinzo's mark and the one winged eagle was Kinzo's envelope, same as the one Maria had taken out last night and surprised everyone with. Oh, well, the title of that track makes me think that we're gonna get an introduction to Beatrice manifesting in reality or something. Oh. <clears throat> yeah? <laughs> Although it had been Kinzo's envelope, the author of the letter Maria had read aloud last night had not been Kinzo. Yeah. Genji continued knocking a little harder and called out in a loud voice. Eva -sama. Eva -sama. Genji de but there was no response from inside. I love the uh, ominous music building up tension. Sometimes when the servants went to call some guest for a meal, the guests would be sleeping so deeply that they wouldn't wake up. In times like that, the servants would stick a letter in the door to show that they had be they had called by, and then leave the guests be. However, despite that, that Genji beat even harder on the door and called out Eva's name, but there was no answer. <coughs> Kanan stuck his ear up to the door, and holding his breath, listened for any sounds coming from inside. Mm. Crazy how anime characters always just have a I, I can sense people or cannot sense people. And maybe it's part of this uh supernatural thing uh, with this game though. Genji took out a hand handkerchief and careful not to and careful not to touch it with his bare hands, gently pulled out the envelope which had been stuck under the door. Big brain, not leaving the fingerprints there, even though I don't know if 80s yet had fingerprint tech. Wasn't that Something that came about somewhere in nineties. Uh, no, well, I don't know. It had been sealed with deep red sealing wax, without the doubt. 
The mark on that sealing wax had come from the Ushirumiya family head's ring. Mm. Even so, there was still no answer. There was a chance that the two were aimlessly walking around the mansion. This was the home Ava had grown up in. There was plenty of reason to think that she had gone out on a casual stroll. Something that, I don't know, came, uh, came into my mind um, at the start of this scene, or when uh, things started to feel sus here, was that uh, maybe nothing has actually happened to them, but there is some uh, fuckery going around uh, with the mansion itself, like uh, maybe they somehow entered a different room or maybe uh maybe beatrice transported them into a different room or has some sort of uh alternate dimension spell i don't know if she can do that probably maybe um uh, to put them there or somehow make it so that uh Ava and hideyoshi uh, think that they are still in their room uh when in reality their actual room is empty or vice versa, um, uh, be meaning that Akanon and uh, Genji here think that this is the actual room, when in reality this isn't the actual room. That's that's an idea. It's out there, obviously. Uh, and the more likely answer is uh, simply that let's just go with what the game says and uh, this is their room and they are gone. Oh, he's gonna open the door. Genji groped around in his pocket and pulled out a bundle of keys, including the one that would open the guest room. Genji -sama. I mean, it's an emergency situation, Kanon. Kanon also understood what this meant. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously violating the uh, code of conduct of the servants, uh, way overstepping their line. They would, be, they would sometimes unlock a guest's door. So they could go in and do things like make the beds, but only after they had made sure the guest was out. To unlock the door for a separate reason, and especially to do so when there was a chance the guests were still in there, and without their permission was an action unbecoming of the servant. However, Genji had decided, my man, my goat, my beloved. If the only problem had been that this his knock hadn't received a reply, he wouldn't have gone this far. But the envelope under the door was doubtlessly Hinzo's. Interesting that they used doubtlessly instead of undoubtedly. Uh, or rather, one of the western style envelopes the Ushirumiya family had. And after the last night, the sender of this envelope could be someone other than Kinzo. If this letter had been sent by someone other than Kinzo, hmm. after giving that final notice, Genji stuck one of the keys from the bundle into the keyhole. There was a sound. There was the sound of the door unlocking. And then he slowly turned the knob, and slowly started opening the door. Oh no, it's the meme again. I slowly opened the door. Uh, sorry, I gently opened the door, I think. Yeah. Light seeped through the crack of the door. Were they in the room? Or had they forgotten to turn out the lights? Blank. Was the sound of the door chain being pulled tight. The chain had been secured. The chain couldn't be secured from the outside. That meant that they were in the room now. The sound of voices on the TV seeped out of the room. The lights, the chain, and the TV. All of these things made it clear that they were in the room. But there was no sign of them. <clears throat> Genji called to Ava once again through the crack of the door, but 
there was no answer. Genji-sama, how are you doing? Oh, what? Cool idea that just came to my mind is that, uh, what if both are true? They are actually in the room despite not answering. And it's actually something different going on, like, uh, somehow Eva and Hideyoshi have gotten spooked or are losing their minds in some way, thinking that this is an enemy or an attacker trying to enter the room and they are like hallucinating and thinking that uh, Genji calling out to them is somehow something scary and they're just uh, silently cowering inside the room, not answering on purpose. That could be an idea. Obviously it's still out there, but uh, let's just keep uh, keep believing in the simplest answer for now. <clears throat> As part of their job, servants were able to unlock almost any lock in the mansion. But they had no way to open the door with a chain. Uh, go get those, uh, I don't know what they're called. Uh, but those things that can cut metal. The only way to get by the chain was to cut it, yeah? That was certainly not permitted as part of a servant's usual work, yeah? A creepy chill was already rushing up their backs. Hanon held his breath again and tried to send someone through the door. But even so, he was not able to sense anyone. Mm -hmm. Swift action. As Kanon rushed away hurriedly to get a cutting tool, he was called back by Genji. Yeah? Big smart, big smart guy. Always go in pairs. <clears throat> it looked like Kanan was wondering why he had to do something so troublesome in the middle of this urgent situation. But Genji had set it out of wariness. He didn't care what happened to himself. But in the worst case scenario, he didn't want anything to happen to Kanan. Scar in the score. I don't think we've heard that one before. In the kitchen was Kumasawa, who was piling food on the serving court. <clears throat> Nanjo, who seemed to have thought of a move that would turn the tables on Genji, and had been awaiting his return, wanting to show him. He immediately realized that something was wrong with Genji's demeanor. Now is Genji gonna go act alone or? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Genji took Nanjo, who still didn't know what was going on, and quickly left the kitchen. Unable to take in the situation, Kumasawa said almost exactly the same thing as Nanjo and chased after Kanon, who had flown out into the hallway. Accompanied by Kumasawa, Kanon went to the storehouse, and from amongst the tools packed into toolboxes and hanging on the walls, he looked for a tool that could be used to cut the chain. What are you looking Bolt cutter. Uh, we do a little trolling, that's why. 
エヴァ様たちのお部屋にチェーンが中にいらっしゃるはずなのにお声をかけても返事がないんです It took Kumasawa some time to figure out how cutting the chain and Eva and Hideyoshi not answering were connected. But she did realize that this was an urgent situation. Yeah. Hanan took down a very large bolt cutter that had been hanging on the wall. It was called a cutter, but maybe it would be easier to understand if described as having a shape. Of a large pair of pliers. Mm -hmm. He recalled being warned that it was danger. It was a dangerous tool, easily cut through one of your fingers. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Hanan took that and rushed up the stairs. He knew it instinctively. He should fight for every minute. Every second to open it quickly. Or maybe already. Matte kudasai kanon sa. Hayak! That was an interesting angle of Kanon. Kumasawa eventually caught up with him, gasping for breath with both hands on her knees. Damn. The yeah. Old person versus the uh, teenager difference in uh, <laughs> when Kanan changed his grip on the bolt cutter and looked up at the door, he let out an oh, stuck speech, struck speech. Uh, oh, yay! No, no, this is yeah, the same, the same, same question here. Obviously, it's uh, uh, nothing unusual going on here. <laughs> Masawa screamed weakly, her face pallid. That was no surprise, because right here, right, right there, on the door. Just like the magic circle that had been drawn on the shutter of the Rose Garden storehouse. There was another, another eerie shape drawn with paint that looked like blood. However, it was dubious whether this one could be called a magic circle. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just a general term. And uh, it doesn't need to be in the shape of a circle like a... Obviously, the most common shapes are uh, circle or hexagon or octagon or uh, star or something symmetrical. Uh, but, you know, it's it doesn't need to be limited. Yeah. A cool idea not to limit yourself to a specific uh, shapes. Because, unlike what most people would think of, a ma of as a magic circle, it wasn't a circle with shapes drawn inside it, but a slightly more geometrical shape. However, the strange non-alphabetical characters written in the gaps of the figure were without, the, without a doubt the same as the magic circle on the shutter. But the thing that had Conan struck, struck speechless was not how eerie the magic circle was. Yeah? Only moments ago, this hadn't been here, right? Uh, yeah, that fact. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Nothing unusual about that. You know, just making this appear in, in, in a matter of uh, minutes. He had returned to the kitchen for a short while. He had gone. He had then gone to the storehouse to grab a tool, and headed right back. Put to put those together, and it couldn't have been more than five minutes. How could someone add something this creepy during that period of time? Magic. And as though it had 
just been drawn. Almost like the door itself was bleeding. Several unsettling vertical red lines slowly dripped, dripped down, getting longer and longer. <laughs> yeah, I fear, I fear that we have our second uh, victims here. <clears throat> Masawa's knees gave away and she sank down on the spot. Masawa hadn't done this first, and Hanon surely would have wanted to. Be yeah. Beatrice. Hanon gulped, then readied the bolt cutter and approached the door. He didn't want to get close to this, to this disturbing magic circle, and he really didn't want to touch the steadily dripping substance that looked like blood. But if he didn't get close, he couldn't cut the chain. I think this cold feeling, he called, gulped again, and after gathering his courage, went even closer, in the bolt cutter up, up against the chain. He then pressed with all of his might, uh, all of his strength, and cut through the chain far more easily than he had imagined. The cut chain fell into two separate parts, which continued to clang as they swayed back and forth here. Yeah. <clears throat> and we know, we know. It looked like Kumasawa had also noticed the western style envelope at the bottom of the door. And that the, and that the ceiling box had been sealed with the head's ring. Anon was lost for just a second, for a just a, a second, over whether he should open the letter first or check inside the room. But he decided to on prioritizing his original purpose. Anon pulled a handkerchief out of his pocket. This was so he wouldn't leave fingerprints on the door. His worst fears had been realized. Police would want to investigate this room too. And the fingerprint check was out and over. He slowly pushed the door open. He was able to carry, uh, hear the sound of the television that had been seeping out slightly more clearly now. Eva Sama. Eva was face up on the bed. In the bed with her shoes still on? Umasawa, who had fearfully entered after Kanan, who was hiding behind his back, screamed a short hee <laughs> again. She saw Eva like that. Eva's shoes had been the first part of her that Kanan had seen, though so the incongruity of wearing shoes in the bed was first thing that entered his mind. For Americans must be confused. I'm just kidding, I think yeah, yeah. Even most Americans take shoes off when in bed. But after he shifted his line of sight towards Ava's head, Hanan couldn't help but let out a short scream like Kumasawa, oh no. Right in the middle of Ava's forehead, something was Set there? Growing there? Oh. No. Right in the center of her forehead. An old fashioned knife. Of, or some weapon like that. Stuck right in. Damn. Fuck. <sighs> I knew it was coming. Or I didn't know it was coming, but, you know, it was a, an obvious setup. I just had hoped. I had hoped so hard that it was just the red herring. Man, fuck. Hold this slaughter again. From the base where it was stuck in. Blood 
stripped down, staining the sheets on the other side bright red. Music is key in heart. Kumasawa's knees gave way once gave uh, gave way once more, and she sank down on the floor. Her mouth kept flapping open and closed, but she couldn't even scream. Ooh, that's a good visual. Eva, with some kind of weapon sticking out of her forehead, dead. Both eyes were open wide. The image of the person who killed her must have been burned, in, burned into them. But the mouth with which to speak that the truth had already been eternally sealed. Even though that forehead was the last place they wanted to look at, they couldn't tear their eyes from it. Yeah. Right there, the weapon was stuck into Ava's forehead, standing almost perfectly upright. The music is gonna be so hard. <clears throat> and on the handle was a design so complicated you could never expect to see it on an ordinary weapon. That thing could be summed up with the word occult. It was a vulgar object, the design that might have been of some demon. Hideyoshi-sama wa... Hideyoshi-sama! Eiwa was on top of her bed, but the other bed was empty. Hmm. Where was Hideyoshi? Maybe in the shower? I mean, obviously the first thing that would come up is that uh, Hideyoshi was the killer because he's not here to go. Probably murder, been murdered and placed somewhere else. After taking a backwards glance at Kumasawa, still on her knees, stupefied, he checked the bathroom just in case. At the moment he opened the door, he was greeted by a steam and the sound of the shower. Boy. The bathroom was of the same familiar style as most hotel bathrooms, containing both a bath and a toilet. When taking a shower, a waterproof curtain was used to keep water from flying out. Ooh. Is that the same kind of uh, knife design that was on uh, Ava's forehead? <sighs> oh, 07, RIP to my good man. He was too good for this world. That waterproof curtain was half open and lying tumbled down in the bathtub of Hideyoshi, completely naked, both eyes still open. And those eyes were pointing right at Kanan. Oh my god, that's so. Oh. Just like Ava. A weapon with a demonic design was stuck into his forehead. Since his head had been under the hot water, the shower the whole time, his face wasn't half covered and filthy with blood like Apus had been. But the sight of him dead was still taking a shower. Of him dead while still taking a shower was tragic enough. Just then, Natsuhi's voice rang through the hall. He was probably coming with Genji. <laughs> yeah. 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 Smart thinking, smart thinking. Stating this with finality, not he picked up the envelope. And before checking its contents, he entered the room herself, where she found Eva, dead. 
、うん、奥様こちらには秀吉様もエヴァさん Kind of cuts off her、uh, gasp. In the bathtub, a small bottle of body soap had fallen with its cap off. It really looked like he had been attacked quite in the middle of taking a shower. A spray of blood still flung slightly into the white bathtub, and the combination of red and white, a horrible contrast. Hmm. <laughs> うん。しかし、このような絵の短い狂気で頭蓋骨を。うん。考えられ。Nanjo checked their pulse and their pupils, being certain of their deaths once more. As Kanan watched he, this business like treatment, he thought, Couldn't you tell at a glance that they were dead without doing all that? Nanjo thought about removing the weapon, but deciding that where the That where possible, it would be better to hand the scene over to the police. Don't be certain it. Left it alone. However, close examination of the base revealed that it had no blade. So, I mean, it had like a, like a blunt end, or does it still have a sharp end, like a spiraling sharp end, like we're seeing here, or is it just blunt at some point? Or rather, it wasn't shaped like a flat blade, blade, uh, blade, but was conical, conical cone. How do you say that? Because it's cone, so it's conical. I feel like I would say conical. <clears throat> but yeah, it's、uh, in the shape of a cone, so it's spiraling down towards a point, spiky point. He noticed that rather than a knife. It was more like a short handled spear. Something with a shape better suited for thrusting than slicing.、Mm. Rather than a short spear, some people might call it a thick ice pick.、Mm, there. At any rate, the original hideous purpose for which this weapon, with its unsettling design, was made. And exactly how that purpose was carried out were both displayed here in such a glaring fashion that there was absolutely no need to use further words to describe it. Natsuhi, hoping to escape the repulsive steam filling the bathroom as soon as she could, covered her mouth with a handkerchief and dashed from the room. Just viewing their gruesome bodies for an instant. Had been enough to burn the image into her eyes. If she looked any longer, that image would surely remain in her vision for all eternity. The rising urge to vomit was exactly the same feeling she had, she'd had that morning at the garden music storehouse. For a while, Natsuhi couldn't help but stand with her back facing the guest room, fighting that sickness in her stomach. Donikaku, Kono Heo Kodomotachi, Georgiku, Misser Wakin, Makimasa. Hmm. Shiku, Kono Heo Toshnasa. Man, George has had it so fucking rough this game. 
ええ見せられませんとも両親のこんなむごい姿をとてもジョージさんには But the recklessly approaching footsteps were obviously George's even before it came flying even before he came flying into the room George and the other's children had been waiting in the parlor but when they had seen Genji call Natsuhi out and had noticed her turning pale and fly out of the room they had felt that he might have been the bearer of bad news yeah and when they saw a large group of people gathered around the guest room they were sure of it and Tosa! Tosa! Maria's non plus reaction. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry, Battler. Oi, Kanoku! Kore nan no sagi nanda! Battler-sama. Kanon didn't have to say anything. George just screamed after he ran a little into that room, told them everything they needed to know. Obviously, a emotional scene. Also. Then he pounded on the bed with his fist over and over again. Butler had his back against the wall of the hallway and was. Without restraint, covering his eyes with his right hand and weeping. who had been left alone by their deaths, by the deaths of others. Everyone here now had lost someone close to them. George wasn't the only one he felt so. However, George's pain was far greater than everyone else's. Nakanai, nakanai. 
Maria tried to comfort Battler in a mechanical sounding voice. Battler violently wiped his tears. Ah. You wanna go on the offensive? Chesmanが引っくり返っちまうぜ。野郎は俺たち羊が明日まで逃げる手段もなく怯えてるだけだろうと思ってるだろうよ。だから引っくり返す。明日までこの島から逃げられねえのは野郎も同じだ。ションベ
at all time. We didn't know. We didn't check in on their uh, location at all the time. So like when we switch from the parlor to the uh, kitchen, we don't know if uh, one in the kitchen was there or vice versa. When we were in the parlor, we don't know if uh, Kumasawa had actually been in the kitchen the whole time or that. No. I mean, she probably was, but still. And I'm very, uh, very invested. Like, I, at, at the beginning, George seemed like a very goody two shoes uh, character. And, uh, you know, the typical book, book smart, uh, uh, morally just uh, character. So, I wasn't expecting to be invested into him, but he's had it so rough. I'm, I think out of the cast who is alive currently, I'm most invested in Natsuhi and George at the at this moment. The most, uh, um, Genji is such a good character too. I can't wait to the, to do the tier list at the end of this, uh. Uh, episode one. Uh, I have an idea of some of the placements, but I don't want to think about it too much yet. Uh, I'll I'll try to figure things as I go on the fly when I do that video. Then, man. Well, here we have it. We are we have reached the second twilight. Although the Twilight hasn't yet come, but you know, we are still. This has now happened, and uh, I feel like, like, am I reading into it too much if I say that uh, it was so obvious and so on the nose that it the game was meant to make us believe that it was a red herring. So the fact that it stayed uh, 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 the simplest route and they actually died actually a uh a, a plot twist am i wrong for saying that <laughs> or am i giving the game too much credit i don't know you i i, I played through higurashi i i should give the game the credit it deserves theirs the man's a genius and okay on the third twilight those who remain shall praise my noble name I, uh, okay, that's interesting because that's totally in opposition of what Battler just declared. Unless, uh, <clears throat> I mean, Battler seems to be like hell bent on hunting you down, but maybe everyone else will. This will break their will and they will all just like praise Beatrice and uh, go with. The flow and surrender is that themselves to fate. Maybe. Uh, skim through this as well. Um, hmm. Yeah, I have taken. The position of the Shirumiya family's head ring there. Publicly displayed the location of the hidden gold within the epitaph. Yeah. If you discover the gold, I shall return everything to you. Intellectual and elegant. Fair enough. There we have it. Closing in on 30 hours. Still in episode 1, my god. I think I heard that the first episode is uh, somewhat longer than the average episode's length. So, uh, not all of the uh, episodes will take me, assumedly, 30-ish hours. Uh, but uh, I've heard that there's at least one that is... Decently longer than episode one. Don't know which one, but uh, 
probably the last one, I would assume. Yeah, it's it's still gonna be a long ass playthrough. Okay, I think we'll we'll end it here. Uh next time we'll see what Battler will decide to do. And it's gonna be interesting to see you hear he's uh, flipping over the uh, chessboard analogies and uh, theories. Um, I currently don't have any, but I can try to think of some stuff at the start of next episode, next part. Man, it's I wanted to originally or originally call my videos episodes, but because of this fucking game calling its different things as episodes, I can't, and I had to switch to calling my videos as parts which i mean you know it's accurate because they are all part of the same series but still it still fucks me up because i always instinctively instinctively try to say um if you enjoyed this episode or blah 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 you know i should say if you enjoyed this part anyways uh a patreon early access two weeks or hopefully soon two weeks uh I had uh, some troubles recording, so early access had been delayed, like I said in the beginning, but uh, yeah. Oh, okay, bye.